respira hondo. It's being called a medical breakthrough, and it offers great promise to patients suffering from serious illnesses. Only a handful of windpipe or trachea transplants have ever been performed, but this is the first to use a lab-grown airway. Claudia Castillo suffered from tuberculosis for years. Then in March, she suffered a serious lung collapse. Initially, doctors thought the only solution was a risky surgery to remove the entire left lung. But a team of surgeons proposed a windpipe transplant with stem cells instead. Once doctors had a donor windpipe, it was stripped of all its cells. Then doctors took a sample of Castillo's bone marrow from her hip. Stem cells from the bone marrow were then used to create millions of cartilage and tissue cells to cover and line the windpipe. Doctors were then able to perform the transplant. The state of Claudia is excellent. She's uh, enjoying her life. She has returned to, uh, um, to be mother. As long as she stay in this uh, health, um, I will be the most happiest uh, doctor in the world. Since the surgery in June, Castillo hasn't shown any signs of rejection. And she's not taking any immune-suppressing drugs, which can cause serious side effects. She's now able to take care of her two children and can even walk reasonable distances without becoming out of breath. And doctors are hopeful that one day the technique can be used for other organs like the bowel, bladder, or reproductive tract. Sandy Cozell, The Associated Press.